The next testimony will be provided by Dr. Helen Mary Caldicott. Dr. Caldicott is an Australian physician, author, and anti-nuclear advocate who has founded several associations dedicated to opposing the use of nuclear power, depleted uranium ammunitions, nuclear weapons, nuclear weapons proliferation, war, and military action in general. Caldicott hosted a weekly radio program, If You Love This Planet. In 2009, she was designated a Women's History Month honoree by the National Women's History Project. Dr. Caldicott. Yes, I'm uh, Dr. Helen Caldicott. I'm a pediatrician. Um, I've been deeply concerned about war of all varieties, killing of all varieties, because I took the Hippocratic Oath and my vocation and life is devoted to saving lives. I followed the Iraq war intensely, the shock and awe campaign. In fact, I wrote a book just before um, George Bush went into Iraq called The New Nuclear Danger, George Bush's Military Industrial Complex, which talked a lot about what would happen in Iraq. Uh, interestingly, though, no one in America really wanted to read it because at that time America was still very nationalistic patriotic because of 9-11, um, and they wanted to get revenge, and revenge was going to be on Iraq for no reason because Iraq had nothing to do with 9-11. The children died from a combination of war and the sanctions that were imposed on Iraq, and they starved. And Madeleine Albright, Madeleine not so bright, um, she was asked if she thought it was worth killing half a million children on television, and she said, yes, I think it was worth it. Uh, Condoleezza Rice talked about the smoking gun or the smoking mushroom cloud. I mean, they were evil, evil, evil to kill over a million people and create, I think, three to five million refugees. What, what they've done is turn Iraq into a slaughterhouse and turn tribe against tribe, um, replacing the Sunnis who were running the government with Saddam Hussein by the Shias, and the Shias are hated by the Sunnis, so the Sunnis created ISIS and Al-Qaeda, and hence were in a frightful, dreadful mess, all orchestrated by America. The other thing America did was to use depleted uranium weapons, uranium-238 in Iraq, 360 tonnes in Basra and huge amounts in Fallujah and all over the place. So it conducted a nuclear war and that area will remain polluted forevermore. Um, so much so that doctors in Basra, my colleagues, paediatricians, noticed a very large incidence of childhood cancer and leukaemia. And also the obstetricians observed that there is a very high incidence of very deformed babies, babies being born with no brains, with spina bifida, without arms, with gross congenital deformities, so much so that the obstetricians have told the women in Basra to stop having babies. But this goes on for the rest of time. Uranium is pyrophoric, so when the shell hits the tank, it burns, 80% of it burns, producing tiny aerosolized particles less than five microns in diameter that can be inhaled into the terminal air passages of the lung, where it's extremely carcinogenic. It's also in the water supply, it concentrates in the food and the milk. Um, children are 10 to 20 times more radiosensitive than adults. Little girls twice as sensitive as little boys and fetuses thousands of times more sensitive. Um, uranium is excreted through the kidneys. It can cause kidney cancer, bladder cancer, um, acute renal failure. Um, it goes to the bone where it causes bone cancer and leukemia because it's a, it's a bone seeker like calcium. Um, so what America has done by using these dreadful, ghastly weapons, they're using them in Libya now and in Yemen um, and in Syria, is condemning the all future generations in Iraq and the other countries where these weapons are used to 
to cancer, leukemia, congenital diseases and genetic diseases because radiation damages the genes in the eggs and sperm, causing um, diseases like diabetes and cystic fibrosis and venal pedonuria and all sorts of others. There are 2,600 congenital diseases and these will all increase in frequency down the time track. And I mean many generations. Um, I wrote an article for the New York Times about this um, many years ago, about 10 years ago, and they refused to publish it. They said, we are unable to publish this. And it was about the medical effects of uranium weapons. And who told them they shouldn't publish it? And why did they go along with, obviously, the Pentagon? So the whole thing is a catastrophe, a war crime, evil, a nuclear war, um, and then there was the Coalition of the Willing, which included my country, Australia, and England, and others who supported America in this wickedness, and still do. So that's my summary as a physician, a paediatrician, um, and I'll leave it at that. <laughs>